When you think about the role of artists, photographers, writers, musicians, poets, painters, relating to the whole concept of an environmental movement, to me it's looking at a huge perspective that gets totally left out of our corporate, economic, political paradigm, which is what's driving our culture right now. If it weren't for the artists of this world, the intuitions as to how we perceive habitat might get lost because we're befuddled by all of the media stuff that goes on around us. The, the environment actually gets lost in the background of all of the other stuff that's going on. People like Ansel Adams and Elliot Porter and Philip Hyde and David Munch and Terry Moore and Dan Budnick and other fantastic photographers in conjunction with great painters. The first person I ever had a conversation with here in Santa Fe was Tommy Massioni, a total nut who really was an enlightened being. <laughs> but thinking about some of the writers that have manifested themselves over the last couple of hundred years of American history, it's just that is the way we perceive an appreciation, an in-depth appreciation of habitat, homeland, the environment. And without these points of view, we really would be culturally bereft. The photography that is represented is really massive at this point. So many people, I forgot to mention Jim Bones, took a whole bunch of beautiful photographs of the Rio Grande. He also worked for Elliot Porter at one point. 